Hello everyone and welcome to the next module of our Cyverse MOOC. My name is Sarah Strieck and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Graz University of Technology in Austria. The topic of our next module is analysis with the discovery environment. By now you should already know what a cyber infrastructure like Cyverse is and you should already know how to navigate within the cyber's discovery environment. In addition, you should have an idea about data management principles and also data management capabilities of the cyber's discovery environment. The objectives of this module are to understand how to search for an analysis app within the cyber's discovery environment, to understand how to launch an analysis within the cyber's discovery environment and to understand how to monitor and how to access results of an analysis in the cyber's discovery environment. In this module we are going to work with the multiple sequence alignment tool MUSCLE. MUSCLE stands for multiple sequence comparison by log expectation. Many of you might already know this tool from the EBI homepage. We are now going to work with the muscle tool packed in a Docker container in the Cyber's discovery environment. By packing the tool with the dependencies in a Docker container, we ensure that the analysis with this tool are reproducible. This means if you repeat the analysis after a few years, you will obtain the very same results. So within the Cyber's discovery environment, you should navigate to the apps menu. In the apps menu, you have a search bar on top. In the search bar, you can type in with which analysis tool you'd like to work with. In our case, we'll be working with Muscle in the version 3.8.31. When typing in the name and the version of the analysis tool, you should be able to find Muscle in the Cybers discovery environment. When selecting the analysis app, you can also set more parameters for your analysis. As a first step, you need to define the input file that is needed for the analysis. For the exercise later on, we already provided for you an input file for a muscle analysis. In addition, you also have to select which sequence type you are working with. In our case, we are working with a DNA sequence. In the next step, you can also define advanced settings. Advanced settings are things like resource requirements, so minimum CPU cores, minimum memory or minimum disk space. This is quite handy if you're using an analysis tool that needs a lot of resources. In our case, we are working now with muscle that does not need too many resources, so we'll keep, we will keep this empty for now. In the last step in the discovery environment, you'll see a summary of all the parameters that you selected for your analysis. So you see the, the input file that you selected, you see the sequence type that you defined for the analysis, and in case if you selected resource requirements, you'd also be able to see this here. In the next step, we will launch the analysis. When analysis is launched, you should be able to access it via the My Analysis menu. In this menu, you see all the analysis that have been started and that are already finished. So you'll always see the name of the analysis, as well as the type of the app that is used, and also a start and the end date. In addition, on the right hand side, you will also see the status. In this case, the analysis is already completed, so we can already access the output. When analysis is finished, a folder is created where all the results are stored. In our case for muscle, the output is an alignment file. So we'll obtain a file that is called clusterw.aln. And when opening this file, we'll see on the left-hand side the species, on the right-hand side the sequences, 
and at the bottom you will also see the asterisks that label the conserved residues within the different sequences. So now you should have an idea on how to start an analysis within the Cybers discovery environment, how to monitor this analysis and how to access the results. In the exercise, we'd ask you to do exactly the same on your own in the Cybers discovery environment. So we ask you to search for the muscle tool, select the correct input data, run the analysis and then also check the output. We also provided instructions in our course material that should guide you through this exercise step by step. So in the next module, Jason will show you how to work with visual interactive computing environments in the Cybers Discovery environment. So you will do more analysis with Jason in Cybers. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you in the next module.